Hello guys, welcome back to Raspberry Pi 4 playlist. I am Preeti Kanpara. Today I am going to show you headless setup of Raspberry Pi 4. For headless setup, you need hardware and software. The list of hardware you require is laptop or PC. You can choose anything that you have. Second is SD card. And third one is card reader. The list of software you required is Noobs. In Noobs, you get Raspberry Pi OS. Second is SD card formatter. The name says SD card formatter used to format SD card. Third is Eacher. Fourth is Advanced IP Scanner. Fifth is Putty. Sixth is VNC Wear. First of all, I show you how to download this software. First of all, open a Chrome. Then type raspberrypi.org. Now go to software and click on Raspberry Pi OS. So you can see the list of OS. In that first one is Raspberry Pi OS with desktop and recommended software. Second is Raspberry Pi OS with desktop. And third is Raspberry Pi OS Lite. I download first one. Now let's download SD card formatter. So write SD card dot org. In that, go to Downloads and click on SD Card Formatter. Here you have two options, SD Card Formatter for Windows Download and SD Card Formatter for Mac Download. I have Windows, so I click on Windows Download. Then click on accept. Let's download each other. So click on this first link. This site is automatically scan your PC. I have Windows N64 bit. I just click on it. Let's download Advanced IP Scanner. So write Advanced IP Scanner and enter. Go to this first link and click on Free Download. Let's download Putty. So write putty and enter. Click on this first link. Now click on here. Now scroll down and you get two options 32 bit and 64 bit. I have 64 bit OS. So I just download it by clicking this link. Let's download VNC Viewer. So write VNC Viewer and enter. Click on this first link. And click on download VNC Viewer. So all the software that we have required that is downloaded. Now unzip this SD card formatter zip file. Double click on it.
Now next, I accept the terms in the license agreement. Then next, next, and install. And finish. Now insert your SD card and click on SD card formatter. Select your SD card. My SD card size is 16 GB. So this so 14.84 GB. Click on quick format and give volume label. And click on format. And yes. So you can see this. This is completed successfully. Now close it. Now open each other. Click on flash from file and select noobs file. Here you can see SD card size 15.9 GB and click on flash. So you can see that flash complete. Now close it. Now go to this PC. If you are can't find your SD card, then unplug your SD card and again plug it. Now I can see my SD card. I have created one config file. I will provide this file to you. The link of this file is given in description box. You can download it from there. Now open this config file. Here you can see that country equal to insert two letter ISO 3166-1 country code here. Here I am writing IN means India. Then SSID. Here write your hotspot name. In the next line, PSK equal to password for your wireless LAN. So I am enter my hotspot password. And save it. Then copy this file. And paste it on your SD card. Now right click and select new. And select document file. Give this file name as SSH. And yes. Now copy this SSH file and paste it here. And give this file name as VNC. That means we are enabling SSH and VNC. Now eject your SD card. Now insert your SD card to your Raspberry Pi and power up your Pi. Connect your laptop with same hotspot that we mentioned in SD card. Now open advanced IP scanner. So right click on and run as administrator. And okay.
select run and click on run. Click on scan. So you can see that I get my Raspberry Pi IP address. So copy this IP address. Now close it. Now open Putty. Here paste your Raspberry Pi IP address. Port is 22. Click on SSH and click on Open. Click on Yes. So now login as Pi and the default password is Raspberry and enter. Now write sudo raspi dash config and enter. Go to interface option and enter. Select SSH, enter and yes. Now the VNC server is enabled. Again go to interface option and select VNC and yes so the VNC server is enabled. Now go to display option and select resolution. Select the last option means DMT mode 82 and ok and enter. Now go to update and enter. Then finish. I just press tab key. Let me show you again. When you press tab key, it's go to select and again press tab key. It's go to finish and enter. Now just close. Now open VNC VR. Here paste your Raspberry Pi IP address and enter. Write username as Pi and password is Raspberry and OK. Now click on next. Select country is India. Language is English. In time zone is Kolkata. Use USI keyboard. Then next. Enter new password. And confirm it. Then next. Next. Select your Wi-Fi. And next. Then next, it take some time, so just wait. So now our Raspberry Pi OS is updated. Now click on restart. So you can see that our headless setup of Raspberry Pi 4 is completed successfully. So you can see that. In this headless setup, I am not using any type of display, keyboard, mouse, Ethernet cable or HDMI cable. I just done this setup by using mobile hotspot and laptop. Now just follow these steps and do this headless setup with your Raspberry Pi. And if you get any error, then share it with me. I'll be definitely try to solve your problems. I'm excited to know your experience, how it works on your Raspberry Pi. So share it in comment box. On the next video, I'll be introduce you to some basic settings of Raspberry Pi desktop. So stay with this playlist. Thank you so much for watching this video.